I'm Nicholas Cole. I'm a senior research fellow and historian at Pembroke College, which is part of the University of Oxford. It's been a university in Oxford since the 13th century, uh, and Pembroke College is only 400 years old, which makes us middle-aged in terms of Oxford colleges. The Quill Project, though, is a very modern research project and uh, uses technology to its fullest to help understand the writing of America's federal and state constitutions. We've worked with the Centre for Constitutional Studies for about five years now. The students at the Centre have helped us with projects that look at both the federal constitution in America and its evolution, and state-level projects that look at the evolution of state constitutional law. And probably if you've taken constitutional history classes, uh, they've focused uh, more or less on the evolution of federal law, um, which is symptomatic really of the fact that, that America's state constitutions have been broadly neglected. And one of the things that the Quill Project aims to do is, is help us to understand much more about how state level uh, constitutional law has evolved since America's founding. One of the most wonderful things about the Quill Project has been the collaboration that we've had with UVU for the last five or so years. The students at UVU have become true colleagues on one of the most innovative research projects that there is in the field of constitutional history in America or in Europe. If you apply to work for the Quill Project, you'll be looking at the archives of federal committees and state constitutional conventions to help us understand how American constitutional law has been written and rewritten over the last 200 years. You'll be making a really substantive contribution to our work, not only uh, looking at the, the raw materials of history, but helping us think through how those materials should be best presented to lawyers, to researchers, to teachers, to students, and to the general public. One of the really wonderful things about working in an institution that's 400 years old is the, 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 the architecture and the, the ghosts of the people who've been here before. So I'm sitting in an office in the Samuel Johnson building, which is named for Samuel Johnson, the creator of one of the uh, most influential and earliest uh, dictionaries of the English language. Uh, he was a student at Pembroke College uh, in the 18th century. Uh, we weren't actually very nice to him at the time, but uh, he became famous and we, we, we celebrated him later. Uh, Pembroke is uh, really blessed with some of the most beautiful grounds in, in Oxford. Uh, at crucial moments in its history, the college has not been able to put up some of the really monstrous buildings that sometimes uh, uh, grace different bits of Oxford. Uh, we've, we've got this wonderful uh, quadrangle in the middle of, of college that, that's still a very open and green space right in the middle of the city. And the Quill Project offices themselves currently sit in a very special corner of the front quad of uh, Pembroke College, which is the, the oldest part of the college, the first bit to be built. And these were rooms that, uh, once upon a time, were occupied by J.R.R. Tolkien when he was a fellow of the college and writing the first two volumes of The Lord of the Rings. The, the walls of the office uh, constantly remind me of the connection to Utah in particular, uh, the pictures of all the students who've, who've worked with us on different projects over the years. You might ask, what's an ideal employee for this project? Well, we're looking for people who will work with us as true collaborators. This isn't a, a job where you're just being asked to do data entry. This is a job where you're being asked to really help with one of the most innovative research projects that, that, that exists anywhere in the world in the, in the field of constitutional law. So some of the work involves engaging with archives that haven't been explored since they were, they were first created. You know, sometimes documents are just put in files in state archives and forgotten. There's quite a lot of problem solving, uh, solving mysteries. Fundamentally, we need people who are willing to really take a pride in, in accuracy and attention to detail. Obviously, we're looking at the evolution of legal texts. 
and sometimes arguments about the placement of a comma or the misspelling of a word could have profound uh, implications for how a text should be interpreted decades or even centuries later. So you need to be prepared to really pay very close attention to what's in the sources and what they're telling you, but also have the, the creativity to help us solve some of the mysteries and problems that historical sources present. Every generation of students has also been, been willing to uh, really help shape the work we do as a project, and I think one of the really exciting opportunities if you apply to work with the centre is the opportunity to, to be truly part of a team of students and a team of researchers um, that stretches across the Atlantic.